comes to electrical installations, Common Sense helps address local issues national codes cannot cover. The repercussions on the energy infrastructure of hurricanes and other extreme weather events that impacted primary power up and down the east coast of the United States in recent years have been dramatic and in some cases, devastating. New York City's flagship public hospital, Bellevue Hospital Center, evacuated over 300 patients because of loss of electrical power. Although the emergency generators located on the 13th floor had initially been operational, fuel issues prevented their continued operation. The fuel pumps that fed the emergency generators were in the basement of the hospital, which remained flooded even after 17 million gallons of water were pumped out. National building codes do not take into consideration every local risk to critical electrical system components in areas vulnerable to extreme weather events. System designed to enable electrical components to continue to provide services during disasters takes a great deal of thought and planning, and it is difficult to include every possible scenario. Even codes and standards as extensive as they are can't cover everything. Prevailing NFPA codes still call for consideration for local needs. NFPA 110 7.1.3 added a third consideration and now specifically states that the EPSS equipment shall be installed as required to meet the user's needs and to be in accordance with all of the following. This standard, the manufacturer specification, the authority having jurisdiction. The addition of the authority having jurisdiction is a clear allowance for the local code to specify placement. The probability and frequency of power failures that do or can occur as a result of lightning, wind, and rain produced by thunderstorms, hurricanes, tornadoes, and similar weather conditions associated with the user's geographic location should be considered. The 2016 edition Annex A newly adds for further information refer to FEMA 543 and FEMA 577, both dated August 11, 2013. FEMA 543 is the design guide for improving critical facility safety from flooding and high winds, providing protection to people and buildings, and is based on behavior of critical facilities during Hurricane Katrina. FEMA 577 is the design guide for improving hospital safety in earthquakes, floods, and high winds. Both were published in 2007. Regardless of lack of specifics in national codes, there are certain actions that after recent hurricanes in the U.S. should become more common in specific geographic locations because they make sense there. National codes acknowledge vulnerabilities of the power systems during hurricanes and extreme weather events and make suggestions that can help ameliorate consequences. However, optimized readiness to withstand extreme weather events is a complex undertaking, best addressed not only by code but also with attention to consensus and common sense.